In the midst of the nation's opioid epidemic, the most heartbreaking cases are often the youngest, newborn babies born addicted. The CDC now estimates that six out of every 1,000 infants born in the U.S. show symptoms of drug exposure in the womb. Today, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper in our area to see the problem firsthand. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez live tonight. And Tanya, you were with the governor at a place that is helping moms and their addicted babies recover. That's right. It's a treatment facility. It's right here in Charlotte. And on any given night, there are 60 women who are there getting critical help to help them save their lives and possibly the lives of their children as well. The governor says this is a crisis in our state and we've got to do more. Sitting in this group of women, one who never thought she'd be here. I just treasure every moment. Two years ago, Anna Fiscus was eight months pregnant and strung out on heroin, crack, and methadone. And I knew that if I was to go into labor right then and there, they were going to take him from me. Fiscus had already lost custody of three so, children, uh, didn't want to lose another. Custody. She got into treatment. Her son, born addicted, he spent six days in a NICU withdrawing from methadone. I wore my guilt like a cloud that followed me around. Fiscus told her story from the Cascade Substance Abuse Treatment Facility, a place Governor Roy Cooper toured Wednesday to get a firsthand glimpse at mothers addicted to opioids and their children who were paying the price for their parents' disease. You got two lives affected and the lives of children who are also affected. In this country, a baby is born every 25 minutes with opioid withdrawal. A substance use disorder is causing four people a day in North Carolina to die, and that is unacceptable. Cooper says he wants to see more treatment facilities, more beds for people in need, and wider insurance coverage. Fiscus and her son proof recovery can happen. She wants other moms and their babies to have the same chance. But it's, it's an amazing gift. Fiscus will be celebrating two years clean later on this month. Her son is healthy, and after all that fear that she was going to lose him, she now has full custody. Reporting live in Charlotte, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. Unbelievable, Tanya. Thanks for that report.